Conditions for magnetostatics. Let's remember that everything comes from Maxwell's equations. And when I say Maxwell's equations, I'm also sort of lumping in the constitutive relations and probably even the Lorentz force law, although that's not really the topic of what we're discussing now. But everything flows out of Maxwell's equations. We're talking about magnetostatics. So it's statics, nothing is changing with respect to time. So any derivatives with respect to time would be set to zero or any frequency terms set to zero. So in Maxwell's equations, we cross off those time derivatives. Now, if we examine what's left over of Maxwell's equations for long enough, we'll realize that they've actually separated into two independent sets of equations. This first set of equations is what describes all of electrostatics. Well, the second set of equations is what describes all of magnetostatics. And this is going to be the focus of the next series of lectures in this course. Let's review what each of these three equations is saying. So we start with Ampere's circuit law. And if we look at the equation, it's calculating the curl of the magnetic field intensity and saying through the axis of that curl must be a current density. So the big conclusion here is that in statics anyway, we only get magnetic fields when there's current and the magnetic fields will be circulating around those currents. Our next equation is Gauss's law for magnetic fields. No change here, so this really hasn't changed from what we discussed in Maxwell's equations, but it's saying the divergence of the magnetic flux has to equal zero. Well, if the magnetic flux exists and it can't diverge or converge, meaning it can't have a beginning or an end, but it exists, the only thing for it to do is form loops. And they don't have to be perfect circular loops, they could be other shapes but they always end where they start so that there really is no beginning or end. And the last is the constitutive relation. This is where the permeability comes into the mix. And it's just saying the magnetic flux is proportional to the magnetic field intensity through this factor called the permeability. And that permeability can be a tensor, in which case the magnetic flux can be in a different direction than the magnetic field intensity. But a big conclusion here, looking at all these equations, there is no permittivity. And so magnetic fields, magneto magnetostatic fields, are not affected by permittivity. 